Have you ever completed something and then looked at yourself in the mirror and said, girl, you did that? That is exactly how I felt when I finished today's project. So if you want to know how to take a shabby thrift store find and turn it into something very, very chic, then girl, I got you. Just keep watching. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to stop by. Please click the like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post new videos. On this channel, we do all kinds of creative things and have a lot of fun doing it. So if that is your jam, you are in the right place. So for today's project, I took a mm, not so cute, sort of kind of shabby, end table that I found in my local thrift store and turned it into something that I was so pleased with when it was all said and done. So how did I find it? What was the inspiration? I was walking through my favorite home store and I saw this pillow and I was like, bam, I know exactly what to do with that pattern. So I took that inspiration, wrote it all down and came up with today's project. So if you want to take an old end table or an old table, a dining room table and turn it into something tray chic, then keep watching. I got you. Let's get into it. I started off with a piece that needed a little love and attention and ended up with a black and gold accented end table. For your materials, you'll need a couple of things. One, a towel to remove any dirt and debris from your project and to clean up your messes along the way. I use Clean Freak. I like it. It smells good, but you can use a cleaner of your choice. You'll need a screwdriver to remove the hardware from your project. You'll also need a sanding block. I used an 80 grit sanding block here, but you can use any sanding block of your choice and this smooths your project so that the paint adheres better. I used painting tape to tape off the legs to get it ready for the gold accents. And I used a few brushes. I used a cabinet brush and a regular paint brush just to get in the creases and the crevices to make sure that the project was completely covered. For this project, I use PPG's paint and primer paint. I like using a paint and a primer because typically you can use one coat with a few touch-ups here and there, and it doesn't take as long for your project to finish. I used it in the color Black Magic, but we're Christians over here on this channel, so the only Black Magic you're gonna get is Black Girl Magic. Then for the gold accents, I used Valspar's Radiant Metals and Metallic Gold. And for the top of our project, I used a removable wallpaper. And you're gonna need your smoothing tool as well as a cutting tool. So to begin our project, we're gonna go ahead and clean it off, get rid of the dirt. And this was really dirty, which was kind of alarming to me, but you'll see it's dirty. So you get the dirt and the debris off, and when you're removing that dirt and debris, it just means that your paint is going to go on so much smoother and it adheres to the project better. And the same with the sanding as well, which is our next step. So you'll see here that there are some nicks and scratches, but if you sand it properly, those nicks and scratches won't show up under your paint as much. So we'll go ahead and get this sanded all the way down and you wanna sand every piece of your project. This may take a little time, but the time that you put in here is going to make your finished product look so much better. So you'll see me spend a lot of time on the legs of this project because that's where a lot of the dips and the scratches and the scrapes were. So I'll spend a little time there, but it works out for me because it doesn't show up once it's painted. So once you're done and you've wiped off the dust from your sanding block, you'll start painting your project and just paint it all the way around. Make sure that you get on all sides. Sometimes people forget to paint the underside or paint inside the drawer. You want, a, you want your project to look good and professional. So paint your project on all sides. 
And this was just one coat, one coat of the paint and it dried so nice and pretty. So the next thing that we're going to do is to move on to the gold accents on the legs. So my real smart self decided that I'm gonna spray the spray paint in a cup and use a paintbrush. Don't do that. That was dumb. Why? Don't do that. Um, I messed up a paintbrush and that didn't work. So then I ended up with this contraption where I had to put bags and everything around so that I could just spray paint it like regular people would. So once everything was dry, I took the removable wallpaper and my cutting tool and I put it on the top. I matched up the designs and you use your smoothing tool to smooth it all out. And once it's all done and dried, you have your removable wallpaper in place, you have a beautiful new end table to go anywhere in your home. I really like how it turned out, how the gold pops on the black and it's so pretty. I don't have anywhere to put this in my home, but that's okay. <laughs> So I'll find somewhere to put it or, or someone to, to gift it to. But I really, really like how this turned out. And then for a cute little pop of color on the inside, I put the same wallpaper on the side of the drawer, just so when you open it, you see something that's nice and pretty. I hope this tutorial was helpful and it inspires you to do something crafty and creative. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about this project and what you would like to see next. I will see you next time. Stay crafty.